following podcast contains drinking, so we suggest you drink along with us. God knows it'll be more entertaining. Crack open a beer, because it's time for two beers, one cup. Note to self, remember no matter how bad life gets, there is always beer. Drink along and tweet at us during the show at two beers, one cup. Now, let's drink. What is up? What is up? It's two beers, one cup. It's Gunner hanging out here, and today on the episode, uh, we're trying something. Thing. I've literally, I don't even think I've ever even heard of this stuff before. Uh, the brewery New Holland Brewing out of Michigan, it appears. Uh, today we're going to be drinking uh, Mad Hatter Midwest India Pale Ale. Now, uh, what grabbed my attention on this bottle is clearly the label. It's uh, the Mad Hatter straight out of Alice in Wonderland. I uh, don't really know why I flock towards that beer, but uh, you know what? Every once in a while, you gotta go after the uh, goofy-ass-looking cartoon character, so uh, that's why we grabbed uh, the Mad Hatter today. So uh, I just finished pouring the two beers in the one cup. If um, you're drinking along, well, cheers to it. Let's take a sip of this. Now, maybe before we do that, let's describe it. It is a uh, it's a. It's not a dark beer. I mean, it is a India Pale Ale. It. Uh, it's a little cloudy. It's looking pretty good. Um, it. Uh, it smells really good. It's got that uh, citrusy smell to it. Yep, definitely has got that going. And uh, according to the website, I'm on it. It's uh, newhollandbrew.com. They first brewed this beer back in 1998. So it's been around for a while, but it says it was reimagined in 2015. So not really sure what the reimagining was. And I don't know if they've uh, if they brewed it that whole entire time. But uh, you know what? After smelling this stuff, I really want to get at it now. It is 7% alcohol, so uh, the two beers in this one cup is, uh, I think by the end, we're going to probably have some ridiculous stuff going on here, so uh, cheers to it. Let's take a swig of the uh, New Holland Brewing Mad Hatter. Let's uh, let's try this out right now, shall we? That's a very tasty beer right there, you know? I have to say, you know, sometimes when you're up against a, a 7% brew like that, you, uh, you know, you might uh, fear that you're going to taste the alcohol, things like that. That beer right there goes down really smooth. And uh, you know what? The pairings. This, this website's actually pretty legit. It gives you all sorts of info about this beer, including the food pairings. Uh, it says I should be eating aged cheddar right now. Don't have any of that. Uh, herb roasted uh, chicken. Uh, definitely don't have any of that laying around right now. Uh, vinaigrettes and six o'clock. So not really even sure what the hell that means, but um, I have none of those things. So uh, I'm just going to drink the beer and uh, yeah, hope for the best. Let's drink some more of this stuff. So, cheers to it. Damn, that's a mad hatter. Man, that's some good stuff, man. Let's read the website description on this stuff, shall we? Mad Hatter's Whimsy is celebrated with floral aromics from assertive dry hopping and a bright, hoppy body punctuated with centennial citra and michigan growed cascade hops citrus and pleasant bitterness excite your palate before welcoming a balancing finish you know what it's a pretty damn good description i have to say man this is some good stuff how have i never heard of new holland brewing before i wonder what else they got what else do they got on here i mean it looks like they uh they brew a bunch of different stuff um, let's go to all. Let's see what else they got going on here. They got some year rounds, some seasonals, high gravity. I always got to go after that high gravity stuff. Funk and sour. I really wonder what the difference though. While well, this is loading, what the uh, the difference between the original brew, the the ninety eight, compared to the reimagined. Maybe uh, maybe this week we'll try to um, touch base at this brewery and uh, just reach out to them and ask them and see what the difference is. Let's drink some more of this stuff. I feel like if I drink this stuff too fast, though, it's going to be an instant buzz, which will be super hilarious, I would think. Let's, let's try some more. All right, it looks like when it comes to their different beers, um, they have a lot of different ones. When you click on their website, they really uh, they really walk you through this New Holland stuff. Uh, they got some uh, Belgium Triple Ale, some uh, Blue Sunday Sour Ale. They got Brown Ale, Barrel Age Pale Ale, Dragon's Milk. 
We should get our hands on some dragon's milk. I'm a huge fan. Okay, number one, that's 11%. I'm a huge fan of names of beers, dude. If somebody's going to call their beer dragon's milk, chances are that's going to make you fierce like a warrior, and uh, you're definitely going to want to try that out. We're definitely going to get some dragon's milk on the show at some point. I mean, it's 11%. Can you imagine drinking two of those? Anyway, back to the uh, the Mad Hatter here. Uh, you know, just sitting here sipping on this. This is actually the kind of beer you could probably sit here, uh, just sip on with friends, and uh, just really be really be satisfied with it it's some really good stuff you know when you uh you grab some random beers uh and you you know that's what the show's about it's trying stuff we've never tried before and uh just seeing if we like it but you know you never know if you're gonna open this bottle for the first time and be like ah damn it that sucks this beer does not suck let's drink some more now hopefully you're enjoying whatever you're drinking right now if you're uh having a good time or you have any suggestions for uh, myself, uh, make sure to be tweeting at two beers, one cup. And uh, now we have the podcast on iTunes. So uh, subscribe to that thing. Like I said, every single week, it's just a 10 to 15 minute quick thing. Unless we get a little too overzealous with the drinking. Uh, I mean, who knows? I mean, I- I've been thinking about this a lot. We're going to get different. Uh, I'm going to reach out to different breweries and things like that. We're going to uh, definitely have some guests on the show, maybe uh, dif- get different guys and uh, you know who brewed the beer to explain the beer. So we're going to get that going in the next couple weeks. Got a couple things lined up for that. So we're definitely going to blow this up and really not only like taste beer and sample it, but, you know, learn a thing or two and travel around. I mean, that's kind of what the spirit of this whole thing is. It's kind of we want to travel, man. We want to get out there and uh, we definitely want to try different things. So uh, it's definitely we're we're definitely going to get there. Their website's pretty legit. Like I said, you got to check it out. NewHollandBrew.com. They got, a, they got careers on there. They got events. Oh, yeah. Let's check out the events. Oh, you can even brew with them. You can go to the brewery and like pay to uh, brew your own beer. That's pretty sweet. I would definitely get a uh, Gunner Brew. Call it the Gun Show Brew. I don't even know. What would you call your beer? Make sure to be tweeting that at uh, Two Beers, One Cup. Uh, let's see what kind of events they got going on. Uh, you got a cocktail takeover going on in some restaurants. Um... Oh, yeah, they even they got uh, some things going on in Chicago, too. That's cool. Uh, hometown represent right there. Uh, yeah, they uh, it seemed that they really get out and about. South Bend uh, Brew Fest. That sounds awesome. When's that? Already happened. That's so cool. I'm a big fan of Brew Fest, by the way. Anything with, you know, beer tasting, sampling, having a kick-ass time, you know. Oktoberfest is my jam. Have you ever Oktoberfested? It's always a good time. But uh, this Mad Hatter stuff, dude. Oh, here's the best event right here. Lansing, Michigan. Day of the Dragon. Come try all vintage 2015 Dragon's Milk variants and be the first to sample the brand new Dragon's Milk vanilla chai on tap. God damn, I wish I lived near Lansing, Michigan, because uh, that sounds like an amazing time. So if you're anywhere near Lansing, Michigan, go to Day of the Dragon, take some pictures, and uh, tweet them at Two Beers, One Cup. Definitely need to see what Day of the Dragon is all about. God damn, that sounds awesome. Pre Brew Fest. God damn, this brewery's what's up, dude. We got live music. The Brewers Guild. God damn, they got like events like every single week. It looks like they travel for different brew fests too. So, you know, if you got something local to you, chances are they might actually pop in and do it. It looks like uh, they got some stuff closer to me. It looks like they're coming uh, to where I'm at in the spring. I'm going to have to pop in there, play on this podcast. Take the free beer, man. <laughs> Although, you know, I'll play him this podcast and they'll be like, dude, you're just a creep, man. You're just love festing on Mad Hatter for like 12 minutes. It's really weird, man. You, you didn't tell us anything about the beer because you actually don't know a lot. That's another thing. I don't know if I said this on the last episode of the podcast. I am by no means an expert of beer. I just love it. I'm no expert when it comes to brewing. I, like I said on the last podcast, I tried making my own beer one time and it ended in complete disaster. Uh, like I said, um, I just kept drinking it, trying to get drunk. I couldn't tell if it was going to be drunk. Uh, I just kept drinking it. And then I shit a lot. It was disgusting. Then I made my buddy try it. He hated it, and we all hated it. I think I still had some in my fridge like a year later. I should have tried that. I just dumped it down the drain. It smelled like beer, though, and that's why I was so pissed about it, because it smelled like beer, but it uh, had no real good effects there. I'm no, bre- I'm no brew master, so... Take that with a grain of salt. So, you know, I love this Mad Hatter stuff, you you know, but that's just coming from the perspective of a beer fan. So chances are you would like it, too, if you're a beer fan. 
All right, about halfway done, so I must have put about one of these Mad Hatters down. Feeling pretty good, not going to lie. Mad Hatter goes down smooth. It tastes smooth. It tastes good. No funky aftertaste. The aroma's good. I'm just having a really good time sitting here with the Mad Hatter. So uh, if you're at the liquor store at any point, and you know, a lot of liquor stores now, at least where I'm at, uh, you know, the Build Your Own Six Pack. Can't stress enough how awesome the Build Your Own Six Pack is. Let's be honest here. Uh, every time I go to the liquor store, I'm either, I'm, I'm a fan of a variety packs, like I was talking last time on the podcast with uh, New Belgium uh, sampler packs. That's what I picked up for the accumulations. Or... Um, you know, every brewery has a sample pack. So I'm a huge fan of the sample packs. I'm a huge fan of the build your own six packs, uh, you know, because it's that's what craft beer is all about. I mean, you definitely want to try different stuff. I mean, you know, if you're sitting there drinking the same beer over and over again, sure, you like it. But it's not like that beer. Well, it could. I mean, it could go away and it could go out of style. But chances are, I mean, the beer you love is probably a very popular beer and it's always going to be around. So you always got to get out there and try new stuff. That's what two beers, one cup is all about. And when I told my wife about this podcast, she looked at me. She's like, really? That's a really stupid name for a podcast. I'm like, I know. She's like, two beers, one cup? What's... I don't get it. I'm like, oh, you know, I took it from two girls, one cup, but it's like I pour two beers in one cup and I drink them and I talk about it. She's like, that's disgusting. I'm like, well, whatever. It's my thing. So cheers to it. By the way, I don't know if I said on the last podcast, I am married, got a daughter, uh, have another kid on the way. So I'm like you, man, the working man. Every day is kind of dude. You know what I mean? I can definitely tell this uh, is 7% beer because now I'm just talking about whatever. That, this Mad Hatter does its job. He's a tricky little bitch. <laughs> What else does this brewery offer us that we all want? Well, they obviously have a tap room with a, a restaurant because they got a menu. Man, you can even order food online. God damn, these people definitely know what's going on. Let's find out more about the brewery and the history of New Holland Brewing. Takes the website a second to load i'm using a old macbook pro um for this podcast and the reason i'm using this and not my other laptop is but honestly when you're sitting here doing a craft beer drinking a podcast you know uh Chances of spillage, pretty good. So, uh, if I spilled on this laptop, it would not be the end of my world. So, this is kind of my this is the this is the beer laptop, you know. Well, remind me sometime to tell you about the time I uh, peed on a laptop. I'll tell that story sometime. Okay, when you click on about, it just says the art of craft. Each bottle of our craft beer and artisan spirits captures a flavor, a harvest, a season, a moment in time. So, it really doesn't tell you like the history at all about. The brewery, I mean, that's okay. Just kind of curious. I'm not going to sit here and click through everything on their website, but um, it's definitely worth it, dude. I don't think I've ever seen, I mean, I'm sure New Holland is available all over the place. If I found it, I'm sure you can find it too, no matter where you're at. I'm sure it's all over the Midwest, at least. So, and obviously they do, you know, they're in Michigan. They do events in Chicago, so it's probably pretty readily available in uh Illinois, Chicago at least, maybe Wisconsin, land of beer. I don't know if you've ever been there. Great place. People there love to drink. Love to drink. So yeah, dude, this uh, New Holland, as we're kind of wrapping it up here a little bit, have to say, I don't remember, what was the scale we did the last time? One to ten? Well, one to ten beer mugs? I mean, what, what should be our rating scale? Uh, let's just say one to ten... I'm going to give Mad Hatter Midwest India Pale Ale. I'm going to straight up just give it a 10 out of 10. You know what? I don't hate this beer at all. I would definitely buy more of this stuff. Uh, I feel like if you're uh, looking for a good beer uh, at 7%, that doesn't taste 7%. I mean, you know, when you get to these uh, pale ales, you know, 7% is pretty high for something like that. Uh, You know, pretty much tops off at 7% typically. So uh, this beer did its job. And I have to say their website, newhollandbrew.com, was entertaining to look at, you know, checking out their different events. I'm definitely going to try... 
the Dragon's Milk beer at some point on this show because uh, that just has a killer name and it's 11%. So if you are in the Michigan area or you're at the liquor store, or check out their website because, like I said, lots of events in the Midwest. They are going to Minnesota, Wisconsin, North Dakota, uh, Illinois, Indianapolis. I mean, they're seriously going to Brewfest all over the Midwest. So if they're anywhere near you, check them out. Drink the beer. It's NewHollandBrew.com online. I'm Gunner. That's Two Beers, One Cup. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at Two Beers, One Cup. We'll be back next week with another episode. Like I said, in the upcoming weeks, we're working on getting uh, different people that are involved with the craft brew and uh, craft beer industry. We're going to get some uh, brewmasters, things like that, to sit down on the show, drink the beer with us, talk about the process of making it. So not only are uh, is it just me being a douchebag, learning about beer and uh, sampling different things for our pleasure and entertainment, but we're going to talk to the people that actually know what the fuck they're talking about. Because let's be honest, I'm like you. I just enjoy this stuff. I don't know how to make it. So we're going to get to that at Two Beers, One Cup on Twitter. We'll see you. One more Two Beers, One Cup. Follow us on Twitter at Two Beers, One Cup and suggest what kind of beers we should review on the show. We figure it's part of our civic duty. Hey, we're here to serve you. That's it. I'm out.